Manchester City are on the precipice of history. History that's already been done before by Manchester United, but they are so close to winning the treble. Most people believe it to be inevitable, but there are many people that do not want it to happen, mostly Manchester United fans. So here are five reasons why Manchester City won't win the Champions League title. This was quite a hard video to come up with. Before we get started, can you please smash that like button and click subscribe? It really does help us out. The first reason is Pep loses his nerve in these Champions League finals. Everybody knows that Pep is an incredibly intelligent manager, one of the best the game has ever seen, but he does have a tendency to overthink things, over tactic size. Ta he thinks too much. He really enjoys trying out new things and weirdly does it on the biggest of stages. This could be Manchester City's downfall if he decides to pull something weird out the bag, like playing Haaland in defence or summer, I don't know. Pep Guardiola's mind is too insane to comprehend. But that is something that cost them in the Champions League final against Chelsea, and it may cost them in Istanbul. <laughs> Reason number two is if Inter Milan play Italian football. They are more than capable of doing this, but Italy is the home of defensive football. Sitting back, grinding out a result, playing on the counter-attack, grabbing a goal and sticking behind the ball until the end of the 90. If Inter Milan can do this, they can make sure that Manchester City don't score. They have a chance to push it to penalties, and to basically leave the game up to chance. That is probably the best chance in to have, and it's definitely a reason why Manchester City could lose. This weird African curse thing that keeps floating around in the media that I've never really looked too much into because it feels like too much of a throwaway story, but apparently there's a curse on Manchester City as to why they can't win the Champions League. You guys will be able to tell me more about it, so please drop it down in the comments if you know. But things like this, massive superstitions can hang over a dressing room. It can get into the minds of the players, and let's face it, there's a lot of room in those minds. There's a lot of empty space in there. If this takes control of the players, then that can really affect them at the highest of levels in the Champions League final. Number four. On Friday night, the entire Manchester City team will eat a bad kebab and they will have food poisoning for the Saturday and crumble in front of Inter Milan. Yeah, these, these I'm really starting to pull these out my ass. But we have seen it before in the past with Michael Jordan ordering a pizza in Utah and kind of getting food poisoning. They thought it was the flu at first. He still went on and played an amazing game, but you know that's Michael Jordan. I doubt Jack Grealish is going to be able to pull off a miracle having eaten a bad kebab. And finally, a large earthquake sends the ball rattling into the city goal and Inter Milan managed to sit back for the rest of the 90. I'm out. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm all out. There aren't really five reasons. I couldn't think of any. Manchester City are going to win the treble. I think that's something that we all need to kind of recognise. They're going to win the treble. I can't see Inter Milan really beating them. Just like the other day when I couldn't see my own team, Manchester United, beating them. It's going to be a tough thing for United fans to accept. But if you're truly a Mancunian, you can maybe accept that the only English trebles ever to happen have happened in your city. I'm not sure you can accept that. I can't really accept that. But, you know, there's a nice thing to give us a bit of happiness at the end of the day. Please remember to click that like button, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. See you later.